Thank you for joining us this week on the Texan channel. This is Michael Mars, and we've been putting some miles on the new 2013 Dodge Dart. This is Chrysler's newest entry into the very competitive compact car segment. It's based on an Alfa Romeo platform, so the new Dart gets a proven suspension setup, as well as the longest wheelbase and the widest performance stance in the class. The Dart Rally rolls on some nice 17 inch aluminum wheels that contribute to that overall ride quality, the handling, as well as the fun factor on almost any tight curve. As part of the rally package, the front air inlet is blacked out with the same piano black used as trim on the crosshair grille, the bezels on the headlights, and even around the windows to enhance that performance look. Under the hood of the Dart, there are three engine options, with the Dart Rally receiving the 160 horsepower, 1.4 liter multi-air turbocharged engine. Now this engine is backed by a dry dual clutch six-speed automatic and of course there is a six-speed manual that's available and could be real interesting to drive with the turbo. So let's take a look at the rest of the vehicle. We're looking at the interior of our 2013 Dodge Dart Rally and we're gonna find that we've got a nice two-tone color scheme with black panels supported by the diesel gray soft touch material on the door panels. We've also got some door storage here and we're going to see our brushed aluminum finished door handle pulls as well as trim around the air conditioning vents. Our steering wheel has got the thumb controls to control our digital support screen as well as our cruise. Now our gauge package has got two large round gauges for the speedometer and the tack as well as two smaller gauges. With the key on, we can kind of see how everything lights up as the system goes through its checks to make sure everything's good. And we can run a couple of changes on the support screen to see how we can configure what the driver is seeing. Coming on across to the top of the center stack, we're gonna find a large 8.4 inch touch screen. Now this is part of the Uconnect system. So we've got an easy to use um, system here. The hardware responds real good to a touch doesn't necessarily have to be bumped or hit and the graphics for the nav system as well as the rest of the controls are pretty good easy to read easy to follow coming on down the center stack we're going to find that we've got some side storage on the side here as well as our manual controls for our audio system and our climate controls we've actually got another 12 volt power supply right here amongst our dry storage and this is where we're going to find our shifter for the six-speed transmission that also has a sport mode on it. So you can actually run it through the gears manually. Coming on across the rest of the dash, we're going to see that we've got a really large glove box here. About a 14-inch laptop ought to fit in there nicely. We've got some door panels here with more storage. And under the driver, under the passenger seat, actually, we've got a storage compartment here from this lift up. Now you're not going to put a laptop in here, but you can put a purse or a camera or any other item of similar size that you want out of sight, out of mind while you're out of the vehicle. Coming on into the center console, we're going to see our two cup holders. And we've got a nice armrest here that's got some soft touch to it, but it's also adjustable. Opening it up, we can look inside and we can see that we've got another 12-volt power supply as well as our USB ports. Looking into the rear seat area, we can see how the color scheme continues over onto the seat and we can see how the center armrest folds down and provides two cup holders as well as some additional storage. Now these seats do fold down, simply pulling on a strap, the seat folds down. We've got lots more cargo space. To put the seat back up, simply a matter of lifting it up, it locks back into place and we're good to go. Looking into the wide mouth trunk area of the Dodge Dart Rally, we're gonna see how the seats fold down to provide even more cargo space, as well as we have the drop down door if we just need to put something long. We've got cargo tie downs on both sides. We've got a spare tire underneath. The new Dodge Dart has several aerodynamic designs that improve overall performance as well as contribute to the sport performance look. And along with 12 colors to choose from, like this outstanding header orange, 
that even drew comments from a school crossing guard, the House of Mopar is offering almost 150 customization options to make the new Dodge Dart a personal driving experience. If you get a chance to drive one of these vehicles, we highly recommend it. And we'd like to thank you again for joining us on the Texan channel. You can also visit us on Facebook. Remember, if you like what you see, let your friends know. But if you don't like what you see, let us know. This is Michael Mars for the Texas Automotive News Network, reminding you to travel safe.